Brittany, would you help me take out Seth? I don't think he wants to be taken out right now. Yes. Let's hand sanitize our hands first. All right. So what you would do is open the cage. Take out your litter box. Why? So they don't spill it and tip it over and make a huge mess. Okay. All right. You want to approach him slowly, not over his head, then he has a chance of biting you. So, oh, so never reach over his head? No. All right, so you're going to scruff him. Grab his back legs. Hold him close. And the reason why you're going to hold his back legs is so that he can't kick or scratch your arm. Can't reach up and scratch you? So normally you don't hold cats close, right? No. Just in the case of this cat because it's safer for him to be secure. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. What if you couldn't hold him by yourself? Uh, you would ask somebody to help you. That's right. That's fantastic. Okay. All right. Go ahead and put him back. Thank you, Seth. I'm sorry, buddy. He's not feeling good. That's all. Once he feels better, he'll be much, much happier. Okay. Could you show me how to grab him again one more time? With Don't actually grab him, but how to um, kind of slide up without going over his head. Yeah. So you go. So he sees your hand. He reaches in for the nuzzle. Okay. And then you do the scruffing. All right. Okay. I think it's a good idea to be firm with the cats because the if they think they can get out, they're going to try a lot harder. Yeah. When they know you got them and you're and they know you never let them go, then they they tend to not be as feisty. Thank you, Seth. Bye. Hey, okay. No, he's not talking right now, but he will. <laughs>